my name is Ezra Town, and I am a co-founder of the Montgomery Pride Center and the current um, board of directors chair. Um, the mission of the of the Pride Center is to, is to serve the LGBTQ community in Montgomery County. Um, so our aim is to keep it local. Maryland TransUnity is a support group for people on all points of the gender spectrum in Montgomery County. It's been around since 2012, so before the center was founded. Um, I'm one of the facilitators and organizers, um, but we wanted to help make sure that um, we were able to help financially support that organization. Currently, as we're an all-volunteer board, um, our, our ability to provide resources is a lot more, a lot less than I would like. But really, we're still in our infancy, and in order to go beyond that with an, with an all-volunteer board, you have to raise money. So currently, we're fundraising on an event level, like if we need to pay for an event, We've stumbled into some generous corporate sponsors, literally from running into people in a different location. We could do a better job with fundraising, um, but you know, like I said, we're all volunteers right now, so all of the money that comes to the organization is mostly from um, individuals or local organizations that, that support us, and actually the faith community. But um, one of the things you need to do, and this is how we've been sort of um, approaching the years ahead is to get your name out there um, and to have people see representations of themselves. The center, through my leadership, um, held the first ever, it's not the first ever Montgomery County Transgender Day of Remembrance, but it was the first ever put in a decent venue. So we had it at VizArt in the fall, um, and uh, we had 150 people there. It was free for everyone who attended. Um, we got exclusively trans women of color to speak from the stage um, and share their experiences. We gave away nearly $1,200 to the local um, to organizations and individuals doing um, trans advocacy in Montgomery County and, and beyond. And part of that was a donation to HIPS through a collection that we did, um, and other parts of that was actually paying the people who came to speak. Uh, because so often, people who do advocacy of any kind are unpaid, and especially trans people are unpaid. <laughs> so I felt it really important to make sure that people were compensated and there was also the prom, uh, which I think was in its fifth year. There were between 70 and 100 students there. I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but we also secured some big sponsors, which we were not expecting to get. We do have an event coming up in on June 29th. Uh, we found some incredibly generous sponsors um, who were able to make sure that we can um, have a pride event in Montgomery County that is <clears throat> by and for the LGBTQ community um, on June 29th. Uh, that weekend is the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots in New York City. Um, so I'm really excited about that and that'll be give us an opportunity to get our, our name and our new lookout and uh, hopefully eventually lead to things like grants um, that will help us, A, get an actual building so we can provide space for activists um, and training opportunities and so on and so forth. I hope that soon we will be able to um, find more money from the county and from the state legislature through providing and developing programs that would help us get grants because one of the things that we, the community expressed to us is that they would like a space. That's the work that we need to do right now is programmatic. We need to do volunteer outreach so that we can spread out 
our resources because right now we're a board of six. Mm -hmm.